me. How long is my body gonna hold out? Your cells, blood, organs, nerves, skeletal system, muscle tissue. Every part of your body is aging rapidly. An ordinary man wouldn't even be standing by now. Snake, the only thing keeping you together is the strength of your will. How long do I have? Half a year. <sighs> Don't. Snake, there's something I have to tell you. Uh, now what? You and I both know your body is approaching its limit. But when I said half a year, I wasn't talking about your lifespan. What do you mean? We can't get rid of the fox dye in your body completely. At this point, it's circulating within you like a normal virus. Yeah, so? Listen to me. Fox dye only kills its victims when the infected person's genetic code fully matches the genetic sequence programmed into the virus's receptors. In other words, it only attacks targets with specific genes. I know. That's what killed the AT president. And Liquid. Yes. And at the same time, it's set up to protect those not designated as targets from the virus's harmful effects. Here. I'll show you. The receptors on the fox dye inside your body are breaking down. The rapid aging process is changing the environment within your body. As a result, the virus is starting to mutate. The viruses on the left are fox dye in its original form. The ones on the right I took from your body. They're already mutated. The receptors. They're wearing down. Meaning? This mutated version of fox dye could activate even if the infected person's genetic pattern doesn't perfectly match the receptors. Which means the virus is becoming indiscriminate about what type of target it kills. Ever since Shadow Moses, fox dye has been breeding continuously in the nanomachine colony inside your body and dispersing into the air. But there are no more targets to attack, so there haven't been any more outbreaks. However, if the receptors continue to wear down, it'll become a killer virus that attacks untold numbers of victims. What if we kill them all? Remove them from the body? There are no antibodies either. I don't know what percentage of the receptors have to break down, or how many people will be targeted when that happens. But what is certain is that people will begin to catch fox dye through airborne transmission. It'll start with those closest to you. Then, one by one, they'll lose their lives. The part of the virus that distinguishes between individuals will start to break down in about... Half a year. No. Three months at the most. Three months? Ironic, isn't it? You've spent your entire life saving the world from Metal Gear, from nuclear annihilation. And now, you're becoming a doomsday device yourself. I can't predict exactly how devastating the epidemic will be. Whether just 1% of the human race could unlock the broken receptors, whether we all can. In either case, three months from now, you'll be a walking biological weapon. If it were up to me, 
You'd be quarantined already. <sighs> it's not over yet. I know. You still have a job to do. You have three months. Still enough time to think once all of this is done with. And if I choose death first, will that stop Fox Die from spreading? When the host dies, the virus dies with it. Snake, tell me one more thing. Have you been to a hospital lately? Yeah. While you were there, did they give you an injection? Don't they always? Take a look at this. These came out of your body as well. It's a new strain of fox dye, one I've never seen. Someone must have put them in you recently. Do you have any idea who? Him. The new fox dye strain is starting to multiply rapidly. What's in it? I can't say for sure. I'll need to do some more tests. Here. Take this. It contains the same substance the soldiers' nanomachines secrete inside their bodies. It's a drug that inhibits the nanomachine's ability to regulate the senses. The nanomachines inside the body malfunction when the system interferes with them. It triggers a reaction in the body, which is why you're having the seizures. Give yourself a shot whenever they get bad. It's potent, so use it sparingly, unless you want to end up an invalid. It may restore your psyche for a short while, but use it too often and the amount restored will start to decrease. Hmm. I've been a fool. I let myself drown in my nanomachines and now I'm trapped by them. You said yourself, we mustn't allow ourselves to be chained to fate. I can't slip free. Then I'll free us both. Where's Liquid? I can't tell you yet. Not until you free me. Do you even know? Liquid left here last night. Where was he headed? Those are my terms. I can't leave this place of my own will. What are you talking about? I'm being... watched. <sighs> Liquid has altered his plan. Removing the system will only cause his army to collapse from within. So he's chosen to seize control instead. Liquid's objective is to hijack the SOP system. He'll use it to create the ultimate army of perfect soldiers and launch his insurrection against the Patriots. There's a name for his new plan. He calls it Guns of the Patriots. Guns of the Patriots? This place isn't safe. Come with us. This way. Ha, ha, ha.
surrounded, Snake. You'll have to break through to go after Naomi. Take out those enemy soldiers and clear a path.
what she'll throw at you next. Watch out!
Your snake. Looking good today. Drebin. What do you want? That's cold, man. And here I was about to tell my very best customer about face camo. Face camo? That camo skull cap you just picked up from Tentacle's shell. It utilizes the same kind of technology as your Octo camo suit. Using the two together can get you even better results. I'd hang on to it if I was you. Doesn't fit. It's not my size or shape. Yeah. Looks like it could use a bit of tailoring before you can sport it. Not my line of work, but... Ain't you got a buddy who specializes in that kind of thing? Huh. Somebody's done their homework. Hey, it's my job. Is that the real reason you injected me with those nanomachines? To spy on me? I prefer the term customer data management myself. Drebin. Relax. It's strictly confidential. I ain't gonna share it with anybody. Then what did you mix a virus in with the nanomachines for? Virus? A certain virus was detected in my body. Are you saying it wasn't in the nanomachines you injected? Look, you do know there are other folks who could have done this to you. And besides, what would I gain from infecting you? Better for me that you're out there kicking ass on the battlefield. I was watching you, Snake. You're a real piece of work. Never thought I'd meet the man who could take down Laughing Octopus single-handedly. <sighs> she just kept on laughing. Now why do you suppose that is? <sighs> Something in her past. You got it. She's from a village in Scandinavia. Little seaside hamlet known to all the locals as the Devil's Village. Place wasn't known for devils, though. It was known for octopus. See, this was one of the few places in Europe where they ate octopus customarily. Anyway, there's this cult of crazies who for some reason hate the village with a passion. Then, when she was just a teenager, things get bad. These nutcases get their hands on some weapons and attack the village. Overnight, her sleepy little fishing town becomes a war zone. They round up all the villagers and execute them one by one. Except for that girl. They had something else planned for her. Something a whole lot worse than dying. Calling her the devil's child, they forced her to do the kind of thing you'd expect from one of Lucifer's own. After they made her torture her family and friends, they made her kill him. The whole time they were forcing her to laugh, howl like some sort of demon. Like she was enjoying it. What was she gonna do? Say no? They'd kill her, too. So she let fear take control and did exactly as they told her. She butchered the bodies of the ones she loved and laughed while she did it. And as she bathed in their blood, it gradually turned from deep red to jet black. To her, it looked like the ink of an octopus. The experience scarred her deep. Ever since then, she hasn't stopped laughing. Only... That ain't really laughter. Why are you telling me this? You expect me to feel sorry for her? Nah. I know you got no room for that stuff in your world. And besides, this is war. Right? In a way, though, I guess it was the right thing to do. What was? Fighting you cleansed her mind. All right, enough chit-chat. There's other beasts out there in them woods. Watch your back.